changing the brain business is Brain FX, all the way from Toronto, Canada. Please welcome Tracy Milner. All right, good afternoon. I'm Tracy Milner, a CEO and founder of Brain FX where we're working to eradicate the dysfunction that you experience from brain disorders, starting with better detection. Now, Brain FX was inspired by sheer frustration, both in my clinical practice and the multiple healthcare companies that I've led over the last 16 years. 85 million people are coping with milder cognitive dysfunction. You might think of someone that you know someone with concussion, who's had a mental illness, learning disability, early dementia. Now, 50% of people with milder dysfunction will be missed or misdiagnosed, risking permanent disability, because the tests that we use today were designed for more severe dysfunction, missing the mild. So why does this matter? For three reasons. One, because 70% of people would improve or slow their decline if we could catch them in time. Second, it's a hundred billion dollar cost. It's more than cancer and cardiovascular disease combined. And three, you can see the urgent need for better dysfunction, or for better de detection in the rapidly growing for market for cognitive assessment, which is growing to eight billion dollars by 2021. Enter brain effects, where we're specifically focused on milder dysfunction. Our platform offers unique digital clinical assessments, and all of that assessment data goes into the analytics of our Living Brain Bank. Every patient can donate their results to our Living Brain Bank, and 98% of them do. And this fuels into insights that are given to providers that help them with better detection, with treatment planning, and with monitoring all to improve patient outcomes. But our data can also combine with other patient data, which allows us to drive new insights and in fact make our own assessments smarter. So we have two assessments that are commercially in market, a screen that's 10 minutes, that's well suited for primary care, and then a more comprehensive version that is for specialists and for rehabilitation. And the way that we measure what other tests miss is by measuring the full range of cognitive skills that you have to use every day, including the more complex ones, and having patients actually demonstrate the ability to complete those skills, not just answer questions about them. Oh. Then you get to see how the cognitive skills that you have, where your strengths are and where your challenges are. And when you do that, we actually use real life context to assess, which means that you get real life recommendations that are practical. Our assessments are validated by university researchers, and for our more comprehensive version, it can save up to 80% of time for providers. So the brain space is a busy space. It's one that we know really well because we've been using the competing solutions in our practices over the last 16 years. So there's three main buckets. One is the area that's still used predominantly in mainstream healthcare, and that's paper and pencil tools. Now what we're seeing in the market is these are digitizing, but they still are measuring more severe dysfunction, missing the mild. Then there's two areas that are very complementary with what we do. So there's the therapeutic solutions, so think brain training, uh, think medications, but what they're doing is they're struggling with finding the ability to demonstrate their effectiveness for milder populations, and that's where we can help. And then if you think about diagnosis-only solutions, so this is your imaging, your fMRIs, your biomarkers, your speech analyzers, they're going to get better at the what is it, but where we really help is that next question, how is this going to affect me, and what do I do? So our business model is directed to healthcare organizations as platform as a service. Our assessments are reimbursable. And our average recurring revenue is $1,000 per provider, which reflects in our actual forecasted and revenue to date. 
Now, we've already been able to demonstrate that there's a need for our solution and that providers are willing to pay for it. Where we're focused now is rapidly expanding throughout the country. And what we have coming up next is the ability to do brain effects at home so that it helps get you to primary care, as well as partnerships that will help us monetize the data that's growing every day in our living brain bank. How we reach our customers is in three ways. First, through trade shows and conferences, where if we can get a clinician to our educational webinar, we've historically had an 80% conversion rate. And then through healthcare systems where we start in one site are able to expand throughout. And third, through platform partners, where we become their cognitive arm and parachute in. Now, we've done this to date with a small but mighty team. In fact, we were five people at the end of 2017. By the end of this month, we'll be 10. And where our expertise has lied is in frontline healthcare, on the financial side, strategic, technical, sales, and this is actually my third startup. Many of our investors have successfully scaled and been able to exit very successfully from their own businesses, and they're the ones keeping us laser focused on our milestones. Milestones that have included onboarding more than 700 paying providers at over 120 healthcare organizations. Fully across North America, as an example, we've just won a government contract where we're assessing 10,000 seniors to do their cognitive screening for early decline. There's also another large contract worth a million dollars that publicly will be announced soon. It's across multiple settings, right from hospitals through into home care and across multiple populations. Over the next year, we will have assessed more than 15,000 patients. So what we're asking you today is to look at how you can support us, both through funding, we have $250,000 remaining in our current round, and also through helping connect us to the types of customers and partners that would benefit from our solution. So let's make the invisible effects of brain disorders visible together. I thank you. Get over, get over.